AI can save us a lot of time, but what if there was a way to save even more time using some of the tips and tools that I'm gonna show you in this video? Let's take a look. All right, everybody, I wanna show you two different ways to save time in your prompts. One that works with ChatGPT and I think a number of other large language models like Bing and maybe Bard. Uh, but since most people use ChatGPT, that's how I'm gonna showcase it here. And then we're also gonna look at Midjourney and a way to save time in your prompting here that is really mind blowing and a lot of people don't know how to do this. It's just a quick little tip. I hope this helps. The first is this Chrome plugin, which isn't really popular yet, and I do not know why. It only has two five-star reviews here, but it's called Prompster. And what this does is it allows you to put slash commands into your ChatGPT prompt space. So let's say I have a prompt that I use over and over and over again, and I really don't wanna to have to type out that prompt all the time. Prompster is where you can do that. You can just take your your template of your prompt, stick it into Prompster, and establish a slash command for it, and then you're just able to go over here to ChatGPT and type in your slash command. So I have one here that I've developed called article, which looks like this. So I just created that slash command, typed in article, and it gives me this. And the Prompt goes, write a section of an article about topic, and here's where I can just insert the topic that I want to add here. In the style of a master online writer, include best practices for online writing, including short paragraphs, bulleted slash numbered lists, only where appropriate, bulleted, bolded slash italicized text for the most important key points, don't overuse, and subheadings where appropriate, again, don't overuse. <laughs> You see, I'm giving it a, a very clear framework of how I want this style to work. The language should be clear and concise, not using the corporate we and often speaking in second person to the audience. Overall, it should be highly scannable. Use the following key points. And so now if I'm creating this article, I would just come here, I would add a key point and put key point number one, add another one, key point number two. But now I don't have to go through and type out this entire thing every single time I go to write a prompt. And this saves me so much time. And again, just to show you how this works, I just add a slash command and it brings up this little box here. I type in article, it gives me the thing here. There are other things that I could do too, like say accountant. And it adds this one here. This is uh, one that they had already stored. I want you to act as an accountant and come up with creative ways to manage finances. You'll need to consider budgeting, investment strategies, and risk management when creating a financial plan for your client. In some cases, you may also need to provide advice on taxation laws and regulations in order to help them maximize their profits. My first suggestion request is create a financial plan for a small business that focuses on cost savings and long-term investments. Pretty cool. And you can just get that with a just a few uh, types and <laughs> a few strokes of the keyboard. Uh, so... That is one way that I use to save a lot of time in ChatGPT and on these other text mod models. Let's now go look at Midjourney. And notice that this is a prompt that I used for a previous video, and it's quite long. And let's say that, you know, I have a man fighting with a dragon. Let's, let's say I wanted to do a different subject, but then keep all of this information here and then rather than having to type that out by hand or copy and paste it over and over and over again from a separate document, what if we had a way to just, you know, add a short command in Midjourney and make that happen? And there is a way to do that. So the way you do that is you hit slash, forward slash, and then you hit this option. This is prefer option set. We can then add a custom command and we can name this whatever we want. So let's just call this book cover one. Now we can hit tab and select this thing here that says value. And then we can go and add, grab all of this style information here, including the aspect ratio. So you can have commands within commands, copy that, put it into this little section here that says value. And now we have this entire thing here 
in under prefer option set we hit enter and now this has been saved as a custom command of book cover one so now let's just say we wanted to add a book cover we hit our regular command of imagine and let's give it a interesting book cover a colorful fairy so totally different from the prompt we have above of a man fighting a dragon but now we're going to add dash dash which gives us a new command in mid journey and say book cover one which is the new command we made i'll hit enter and now you can see we have a colorful fairy but if you notice here it has gone ahead and automatically added everything that we included in that custom command to make sure that this now has the similar style, similar art style as this dragon image above, even though we have a completely different main subject here. And we look at this and it does have a very cool epic fantasy book cover feel to it and it has the same dimensions. Everything is all the same. So if you have a long style string of things that you use consistently in mid journey, then this is a great way to work with that and so you can change it up and try different things while maintaining that consistent style. I hope that was useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.